if the firm has it that it's on one side only, you can define that there. And then also there's the intelligence to uh, include rules and this this rule system allows you to have a selection filter from the model. So I pick a selection filter that exactly matches my model selection filter here down below. So that selection filter, it's going to look for certain objects and it, then it's going to uh, position them, uh, whether it's in certain locations, uh, and then distribute them uh, whether on looking at both sides or forcing them to be left side or right side. And I'll show you how that how that works in a second. But this is again is for it could be for adding dimensions then for say steel beams along a horizontal or a vertical uh, with those beams relative to each other. So I got a just a test drawing here uh, properties that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply those and then I'm gonna create and open this drawing. Okay, this drawing. Now this, the, the view that it's, I selected a view and I brought in a view for the drawing. So I haven't done any customization at the, you know, the drawing or object level. I'm not going to in this discussion here. So again, the, when I double click on the background, this brings up the general arrangement drawing properties. I go to the dimensioning tab and I see these settings here that I have, as well as the rules here, the same rules that I showed when we are outside of the, uh, in the drawing list environment. So let's look at what we, we have in, in the model here. We have, first of all, from a dimensioning standpoint, these dimensions automatically came in along the grids as a group of elements. So I can take these and you know move them around where I need to. Notice the colors and the represent the pen weights and everything that were set up in the dialog box. Now notice here when I select them, see how there's a line and the line stops short here of on, on the grid there. So that within the dimension box here, remember I had this short extension line icon, okay? That's controlling that setting there. And then when I come over here, I see the same thing with these automatic dimensions between the steel beams. I can see that those short extension lines are there. Well, let me go ahead here and change that to say I only want those short extension lines at the grid locations. Okay, so only where there's a grid location. Now it's actually extending that line to the uh, center uh, point of those beams. So same thing with these beams down here. I can see the dimensions extending all that way across. So if you want this to be uh, always just for every situation, well then you can see they're pulled back in that case. So you do have some flexibility, you notice after the fact, to actually modify these in the, in the drawing. Uh, you know, things such as, you know, units and things, you know, if I wanted to change that to inches, which, you know, you probably have that set up in the first place the way that you would want it to be, but and then also things such as our dimensions, um, you know, inside or outside. Uh, so this this is a, a one that typically you will have things out, outside, but just to show you what the inside means is that, you know, it's holding it in tight there. So usually things look a little, uh, you know, congested that way. So typically the setting is to have it pulled outside. But again, you can change that on a on a global level, as well as these other properties of, you know, if I wanted to change the, the, the overall dimension color, I can, I can do that. You should, though, have all that set up as a company standard first. So once you set these up, you know, you save away that standard file, then you have those active. Uh, or apply them and save them with your sheet 
setup sheet name, name, and then those settings will be applicable. Now, on the dimensioning tab, remember we have these rules about where the dimensions are located. So right now everything was, you know, do you want the dimensions on? Yes. And do I want on the left or right? Well, they're on the left, but if I modify, see they come up over on the, on the right. Uh, if I want dimensions on both the top and bottom, they show up both places. All right, and then on the parts tab, remember that we have this association where it's looking at the analysis frame filter. Now this filter, uh, the analysis frame filter is looking at the uh, objects that are called beam column brace. I mean, it's kind of a generic one, but you can have your own filter in there of what you actually want to dimension. Look at, if I even had, you know, to the level of detail, this dimension to all the steel parts in the model, everything. Notice here it's even, so it's picking up some other elements that I uh, typically would not want to, you know, be dimensioning to. So you do have the ability to, you know, kind of tailor the type of customization of, of dimensioning based on rules that you want, want to do, as well as this distributed by both sides is kind of looking at where the free space is for your dimensions. So if I zoom back here, notice that there's dimensions down here for these beams, but the dimensions are up here for these beams. I can force those to be on one side or the other. Uh, well, I can force dimensions to be on the left, say, and then force them to be below on all these members. So here I can see now my beam dimensions are over here on the left, where, and then all my beam dimensions on the bottom are down here on the bottom. So I can have different types of rules uh, on this and force everything over on the right. At some point you've got to see, well, really, for how different my projects are, how much automation can I really get out of this? I mean, and you're going to then come in and start adding your own, you know, dimensions, obviously. And I think there's obviously merit in, you know, that obviously this type of dimensioning, um, you know, where you can come in and add dimensions just manually on the fly, selecting them. So, but it's good for you to be aware of that for setting up your grids and just overall dimensions. It could, uh, you know, add to your productivity. The next topic we want to discuss with drawing sheet setup is the protection settings. I will now open up, uh, go to the model, and I'm going to go to my create general arrangement drawing. And 